it's too early to be done. <laughs> oh god. Um Hi. Uh totally didn't oversleep. I I'm Nostalgic Dave. Welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Um let's let's go. There's actually some place we need to go first before doing anything here anyway. Oh wait, did I sleep? Mom, did school already start? Can I miss it? I slept through it unintentionally. No? Oh. I don't want to go to school. Ah, that's pretty something. But that's pretty much something almost every single kid has said at some point in time, let's be honest. Let's be real here. In any case, hey guys, how you doing tonight? Uh, uh, well, we're fighting a wambat now, apparently. Hello. And a, uh, a boogie boy? I know it's a hog goblin, but he, he looks more like a boogie boy. Why I, th why I think that? I, I, I wish I could tell you. There is something else we could do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. This thing's space mine, and we're about to see it in a sec, maybe. No, we're not! <laughs> Perloiner is getting there, kinda. No, yes, 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 I do. I do want to do that. <laughs> Sharper Parper. How much leveling? Actually, here, Mighty, have chocolate. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, boy. I gave you chocolate just because I know you were hungry. God. It's not like I haven't been feeding you. I hope. Um. You know, we're not going to go down that path. Um, why is there nobody here? This desert is desolate, pretty much. I mean, there are a couple of characters here, but that's about it. All right, well, we're at Alma Moon, so I guess we don't have to worry about it too much. Let's go. So we're just here for one thing. We're going to the Cotomaster and picking up a flint dagger. So many of you already know my, might already know what I'm doing. If not, that's fine. You'll find out in maybe like two, three, five minutes. Depends on how long it takes me to get back to where I was before. No, actually. All right, thanks, bye. <laughs> Connor Master's just like, wow, you didn't even let me talk and you're already saying that. Rude. Okay. So, oh, let's go. This is a random comment that I'm just kind of saying while going across here. I have way too many white shirts who likes for someone who likes wearing dark clothing. To be fair, I have like five white shirts, but in retrospect, I have like several more black and gray. So, and dark blue if you're including my long sleeve shirts, I guess. I don't know. Alright, I'll pet the kitty. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Let's go. Um. Body blast the kitty. I'm sure the kitty wants a body blasting. Yeah, oh yeah, a kitty looks desperate. Perloiner? No. I'm the one that gets body blast, not her. Boop. Alright, you're dead. Hey, Wambat. Well, thank you. I much appreciate I appreciate the contributions to society. Ow, 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 ow. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. I'm bouncing around everywhere, bud. Bud. I'm bouncing around everywhere, bud. Wow. 
wow, Shocky Bounce to a level 4 like that. And I'm going the wrong way like that. Now I need to know I'm going the right way like that. What am I doing again? Who am I? <laughs> oh, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Kitty, kitty. Okay. I, I, know your, I know your buddy got body bumped, but you don't get it. <laughs> I'm not giving you a body bump. I'm out of body bump power. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no body bump powder right now. I'm sorry. Sheesh. Oh, that made you stop. Okay. That's what made you stop me saying I ain't got no body bump powder. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Alright, so this is why I went to get the flint dagger. Ah, that big pot you have. Is it a cauldron? Is it, it's a cauldron, is it not? Uh, yeah, that's right. Hehe, <laughs> so you must be a wizard. Crikey, it sounds like this episode girl knows a thing or two about wizarding, Holly boy. I do. I read my wizarding book every day. I know all about wizards and the spells they cast. Wow, I like this kid. But the spells there are not my favorite thing about wizards. It's alchemy that I love most. I mean, how how does this kid know many so so? Uh, how does this kid know so many big words? I read that wizard. I read that wizard can make almost anything by making material in a cauldron. Is that true? It sure is. It actually pretty. It's actually pretty easy if you have the right ingredients. Easy for one to do, I think. Uh, being a wizard must be pretty wonderful. Will you, will you show me how alchemy works? You can make me a cow cut pack. I have heard that cow cut can be- Okay, sure. Made using alchemical methods. I would dearly love to see one myself. Oh, wonderful. Again, how does this kid know so many big words? Candle cutter, I know what I need. Flip it, heck. You don't half know your stuff. Hehe, <laughs> it's all my book. Can I borrow your book? Mine's missing pages. <laughs> okay. Flint dagger. And... Ember stone. Mix. There we go. Hey, a candle cutter. Wait, 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 hey, hey, hey. We're back. We never left. Oh, we brought you a candle cutter. Oh, wonderful. Simply wonderful. Something so magnificent created from such a simple material. I can't hardly believe it. How do you know so many big words? It bothers me. <laughs> Whatever was said before, that's that's the new replacement. I do love alchemy, so. Oh, I wish become a wizard like you. Perhaps I should give you something to thank you for showing me the cow cut. You know what? I'll accept that, but what the fudge? Again, kid, how do you know? <sighs> My brain hurts. Well, sort of formula. Okay, really, kid? Really? You're hurting my brain. You look like you're five years old. How old are you really? Ooh. Well, I mean, I appreciate it. But again, what the butts? Hi. Welcome to Swiss Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. Do we need a claim? No. I'm pretty sure they're... Yeah, I already... <laughs> And there we go. Pretty sure that's all we can do for right now. Yeah. All right, time for story progression. Why is it so quiet? Ah. Uh, why do you people have to make this seem like these are the desolate days? All right. Everybody here is wearing a swimsuit, huh? Yes, no wonder they call it the seaside paradise of the sun. Look, they're not dressed correctly. What? 
touch. So very disrespectful. What? Huh? Nickers. It's like Ding Dong Dell all flipping over. <laughs> yeah, I know. Jeepers. Come now. What is this disturbance? Ah, oh, Governor. The very person we need. What do we have here, hmm? You are visitors to our town, I take it. You must know that all who enter this place are required by law to wear the appropriate attire. I speak, of course, of the bathing suit. Quite frankly, if this was a law, I wouldn't mind at all. As long as I'm living in a warm place, that is. <laughs> uh. We ain't, fl we ain't planning on moving here, is it? We're just passing through luck. Nonetheless, the law must be obeyed. The dark days of the past cannot be revisited. We once had great trouble here. I'm sorry to hear that. You never think it to a look. You never think it to look at the place now. It's so peaceful. It was. It was a time of great sadness. Travelers from all around our world sail to Castaway Cove. Travelers who do not always see eye to eye. Somehow wearing a swimming suit fixed this. The men of the sea are hardy but quick-tempered. Without constant supervision, they would soon fall upon one another in anger. And for this reason, I devised a means of maintaining the peace. I'm sure you have guessed already what it was. Uh, are you crazy? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I say, I say, are you crazy? The word's covered, but the first word this guy says is yes. To require all those in town to wear bathing suits, of course. How's that going to fix anything, dude? Clothing ain't gonna fix crap. What is he? Flipping crackers or something? What difference would that make? Thank you, Drippy. A great difference indeed, fairy. For in a bathing suit, one cannot conceal a weapon. Ah, oh, that kind of fight. Okay. And no matter where their homeland may be, all who come here must dress in the same manner. Be they from Al Moon, from Ding Dong Dell, or from the furthest flung islands of the north. When they don the bathing suit, they become citizens of Castaway Cove. Fun fact, as of like two, three years ago, I had no idea what that word meant. Wow, that's interesting. That's such a strange idea. How did you convince everyone to agree? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. First, of course, I... What are you, Santa? Are you like a younger... Mid... I don't even know. I met with ridicule from all sides. None would support my scheme. But I did not waver. I remained true to my vision. I put away my resentment and my frustration. And why was I able to show such restraint? Because I had a dream. A dream of peace in the place of my birth. Cool. Gee... I thought they were dressed like that because it was so hot. Hee <laughs> hee, me too. <laughs> you are not the first to think so. But this only proves how peaceful our town has become. Such a misunderstanding is a happy one. I understand now. We should respect the governor's wishes and dress like everybody else. See, everyone, it was just a misunderstanding. Go back to your bowls of fruit that's on your head. Just... Go, focus on eating those. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Nothing bad's happened. I swear I don't have a weapon. Okay, maybe I have like five, but shut up. All right, then. If we flip and lost. But I ain't got a swimsuit, have, I? have you? <laughs> worry not, little one. We have a great wealth of bathing suits prepared for visitors just such as yourselves. Come. You will follow me to my home. Uh, w I will. Check me Apparently out, I did. I look the business in this little number. Huh? Oh, that's marvelous. <laughs> wow, okay, looking for... Ugh. What do you think? Hmm? Well, that looks cute. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. We may be boys, but we ain't entirely ignorant of more involved nature of feminine dress. Eh, hey, Alibi? Ah, uh, <laughs> big words. I, I, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we're all citizens of Castaway Cove now. 
Let's go take a look around. Thank you very much, Mr. Governor, sir. <laughs> the bathing suits are yours now. You must wear them whenever you visit us. Now, at last, I can say to you, welcome to Castaway Cove. Thank you. I was actually going to say that anyway, but Oliver's just like, yeah, I'm taking it. And now at last, we can go and look for a flippin' boat. Talk about faff, man. I can't handle these words right now. Excuse me, sir. Are you the captain of this ship? That I am, lad. Captain and master of all who sail her in her. You have a beautiful boat, Captain. You do not need to tell me that. She's the most beautiful in the seven seas. Yeah, it's the one I'm going to be using in a bit, too. There's not a finer or more fearsome ship afloat. And her name is no less fine or fearsome, for she is the legendary sea cow. You know, if a cow is that big, I'm gonna, I'm not going to lie, I'd be a bit afraid, too. I have something to ask of you, Captain. Would you let us ride aboard your ship? Hmm? You seek passage aboard the sea cow. We need to get to Artonia. Avast, girl. Ye believe, ye believe ye can merely stroll aboard? Who do you think ye are? Arr. Well, Captain, I'm... Well, Captain, and may I say what a fine captain you are? Oh, STRIPPY! Young man standing before you, and I know it seems unlikely, but bear with me. This unassuming scrap of a lad here, Oliver is his name. His name is whatever! He is the only, he's only on a journey to save our flipping world. Yeah, he's gonna believe that. And he's only accompanied by none other than myself. Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Oh, and I'm Esther. D don't, don't mind me. I'm just an added companion. Hey, no you're not. You're important. Drippy, you shut the flip up. Are ye our fairy? I've traveled the world, but never have seen, never have I seen one of your kind before. So, lad, you travel to save the world as a fairy for a companion? <laughs> Arg. And surely my, my ship alone will not suffice. You will need two ships. A fleet, even. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh, does that mean we can ride with you? But of course, boy. Just as soon as you have shown me a, r a letter of passage from our beloved Khalifa, the most exalted Lola. Great! Now I gotta go back to Al Mamoon again? We sail, after all, for her glory, and for that of Almamoon. For Almamoon. My bad. To the Caliph, I see. Fit to grant ye permission to come aboard. Abroad is how I would have said it for, like, this particular character, but whatever. I'll refuse you nothing. Alright, Captain. We'll go get the letter right now. Arr, fine words, lad. But easier said than done, I fear. Still... You're truly to save our world. It should be the work of mere moments. Arr, arr, arr. What are you... Why are you... Why are you named Sinbad? You sound like Mr. Krabs. Arr, arr, arr. I don't think he believes us, does he? It doesn't matter. We just have to prove him wrong. If we can bring him that letter of passage, he'll have to believe us. Let's go back to Alma Moon and get it. Kaulifa Lole? I wonder what she's like. Oh, great. Now I'm getting accents and stuff mixed up. Looking forward to this, Sam. A flippin' love royalty, me. Well, you go... I barely understood all the words that were happening. Alright, well, I guess we're heading back to Alma Moon again. Okay. I was about to stay the night there to fill the uh, wizard's companion, but um, yeah, I kind of already did that.
Okay. All right, you want to fight? I'll do it. I'll fight you. If you really want it too bad. Or that bad. Okay. What did you do to me? Bop, bop. Here, I'm hitting. I'm hitting you with my bill beak, my my instrumental beak. Take my instrumental beak. It feels good. Ow. Uh, I said it feels good. Don't freaking ow. You stupid f s. Okay. You know what? I have no MP left. Great! I got some iced coffee, though. <laughs> Kid drinking coffee. Totally normal. Ow! Okay, okay. You know what? We're gonna have a fish burger now. Before I die. Fine. Why can't I use the body blast? It needs oh, cause it needs oh. Oh, give, 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 mine, 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 mine. Okay, well, body blast you. Die. Die. Dead. Give me that. Screw you. We're out of here. Oh, Shonky leveled it up. I wonder if Shonky would have leveled up anyway. I think they all level up regardless of what characters you use, don't they? I should know this by now, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! Oh gosh, you know what? First, first I'm gonna do this. Wambat, you need to die. 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 I said die! Thank you. Ow. Dude. That was not nice. That was rude. Yay! I understood those words. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand big words. Big words don't fall under my category of, yay, I get it. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, that one runs for me anyway, so I guess, like, actually, probably, yeah, I could I could have got that one. Actually, I kind of wonder if you organize these really quick. Um... Uh, switch with you. You with you. There we go. I'm much more satisfied now. Why are you not equipped with anything? Hold on. Okay, well, um, which one benefits me more? This one. I don't mind the accuracy being a little bit lower. And the evasion being a bit lower. As long as the magic stuff doesn't go lower. Alright. Anyway. Back to Alamoon again! Holy crap! Why is there so much backtracking in this game? So, where do we need to go exactly? Wouldn't you listen in cloth ears? To where the Khalifa is, ain't it? To where the Khalifa is, ain't it? Palace, mon. The palace! 
It's beyond the main square, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Okay. Aw. Is this guy seriously following us? Hmm? Yikes. What's wrong, Esther? Nothing. I just had a funny feeling you were being followed for a second. I'm sure it's nothing. Sorry. Let's get going, shall we? Sure. By the beards of the mighty, the regal lines, the majestic curve of the nostril, your nose, it is in every respect the same. Same as hers. Huh? Whoa, hello. Hi. Sorry? Please, you must, you must let me study it. Dude. Let, let me, let me point something out to you, guy, guy. Let me point something out to you. Your name is Khan. You expect me to trust you. <laughs> what? Who are you? Ah, forgive me. I am a, but a humble artist. Yeah, a Khan artist. I'm currently painting the portrait of one of, to whom you bear a most striking resemblance. Ah! Those words, though. I look like the person in your portrait? Indeed. And alas, I am unable to meet her in the flesh. Will you not allow me to study you for a little- Oh, good golly. Well, if you must, go ahead. Hmm, yes. Uh... If somebody came walking up to me and did that, I'd be like, The heck are you doing, dude? Bam! I'd smack him upside the head. The line of the jaw is key. Yes, of course. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I know just what I must do to finish my masterpiece. You have my eternal gratitude. Uh, that's alright. You're very welcome. I must return to my study right away. Or my studio right away. Farewell. Okay. Wow. I wonder who the person is who looks like me. Let's go find out. Whoever it is, the artist certainly seems to think she's rather beautiful. Crikey. These odd, these arty types are a bit intense, ain't it? Not to mention a bit, a bit flippin' weird. Yeah. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Just that you know. It was a bit of a funny one. Did you not think so? Just me. Was it? Righto. I'll shut my big mouth, shall I? No, you weren't the only one, Drippy, trust me. <laughs> so, time to get moving, is it? Sure, let's go. Wait, hold on. Hold on, I gotta check something. I wanna check this. Where did he go? I think, if I remember where is the place where he studies is, it's over here, in the inn. But I don't know if he's there right now. Is he here right now? Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 this isn't where his studio is. I think this is just where he brings it afterwards. Yeah, this is... <sighs> of course I'm wrong. I'm always wrong. Hi. Hey, can I, can I take a nap? Yeah, let's stay. I'm paying money to restore health and MP, so I'm fine with that. Doesn't bother me. Okay. No. Just yet another perfect night's sleep at the cat's cradle. Meow. Alright, let's go. What did you say? Give me that. Well, I got my money back. All right, so what's up here? That guy is still there. Wow. All right, Teddy. This here's the place. This here's the palace. Let's get ourselves inside, shall we? Okay. They're gonna be halted. Halt! You may not pass. Think you can just walk into the palace of our most revered Khalifa unannounced? What seems to be the problem here? Hi, Abul. 
Master of all. This, these miscreants were attempting to enter the palace without permission. Is that so? Wait. You're the Vabana merchant's daughter, are you not? I am a bull. Vizier, to our esteemed cow. Oh, God, my brain words! I know what that word means, but only because I've seen Aladdin and I really like that movie. <laughs> Your father's efforts to supply her magnificent. Magnificence with Babanas are, as ever, most highly appreciated. I had heard that you were unwell. It seems that you are recovering. Yes, I'm much better now. Thank you. That is excellent news. Tell me, child, what business have you at the palace? Well, sir, you see, we need a ship, and we can't get one without a letter of passage from the Khalifa. You and your friends wish to journey to the lands across the sea? I sympathize. And I would dearly love to arrange an audience for you. However, is something wrong? I am afraid the Khalifa is indisposed. Much as it would please her, she is currently unable to hear the requests of any of her subjects. Well, that's too bad. Apologies, but she has requested that she not be disturbed under any circumstances during her afternoon snack. And I guess we'll just have to wait until after that. Would would that, would that you could, but her afternoon snack is immediately followed by her second lunch. What the fudge? And after that, and after that, then comes the late afternoon snack. Oh goodness, this woman, this woman needs restraint. Um, is there any time when she's not eating? I'm gonna guess when she's not eating, she's sleeping. Alas, her majesty's miraculous hunger dictates that she died uh, even during her sleeping. What the hell? That would kill her. Well, I guess there are some circumstances where people can actually do that, but pretty pretty powerful minds can, I'll say that much. This is why I am forced to spend my every waking hour ah! Procuring <laughs> her most beloved food. <laughs> I must be going. Her most beloved food? I wonder what that could be. Forgive me. I must make the necessary arrangements before the, mer the merchant's supplies are exhausted. I am most terribly sorry that I am not able to grant you an audience. Cusses! I must hurry. If I cannot prepare her Mujasi's next meal in good time, she will be most displeased. Master Abul has spoken. Leave this place. Wow, you guys are assholes. Well, Abul's not, but the other two are butts. The other two are dicks. Looks like we don't have much choice. Oliver, come on. We'll come back later. Okay. So, the Khalifa has a very sweet- oh, pfft. I was like, wait, Drippy, where are you? He's on the fountain. <laughs> the Khalifa has a very special flavored food, is it? Hey, I bet if we found out what it was and took her some- took some- took her some of it as a present, we'd be allowed to see her. That's a neat idea, Esther. And it actually works. <laughs> but we don't know what her favorite food is. Oi, oi, Ali boy. You know how we can find out, don't you? Um, my world. Come on, slow coach. We go to your world and find it. Her soulmate, is it? Of course. If we find her soulmate, we can find out what their favorite food is and give some to the Khalifa. But how do we find out who the Khalifa's soulmate is? I've never seen her before. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. So we need to find out what the Khalifa looks like. But we can't... Go and meet her. But if we can't meet her, how are we supposed to find out what she looks like? Oh god, this is hurting my head. These the words and puzzles are hurting my brain. I saw her once in a parade when I was little, but it was so long ago, I can't remember anything about her. So what do we do? Jeepers. We could sleep on it. We don't know what the Khalifa's favorite food is, and we don't know what she looks like. 
I have to confess, I'm completely out of ideas too. Bah! All this thinking's making my heart hurt. My head hurts, man. Tell you what, let's go down the cat's cradle and sleep on it, shall we? Well, I guess I am kind of tired. Cat's cradle is near the entrance of town. Okay. Let's go rest a while. Finally, my legs are hurting. My brain is hurting. I need rest or I'm going to go... <laughs> I think I already went. Actually, <laughs> now that I'm now that I'm putting my whatever's left in my head uh, to use, I'm pretty sure I did already do that. Now that I'm thinking about it. All right. Let's go in here. Hi. Welcome to the Palace of Tampari, the cream of cat's cradle establishment. Oh my, I must apologize. Please, you must excuse me. What the hell? Oh. How I had longed to see it. Now, please, hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who? Yes, it is. I wonder how this picture turned out. Oh boy. The grand unveiling. Oh, my beloved Kaulifa. So the person he thought I looked like was the Kaulifa. Uh oh. <laughs> see, it's not every day you get compared to royalty. Yeah, but when now you see what she looks like, like, this is gonna me. piss you off. Oh, oh. But that's that looks nothing like her at all. Oh, it's divine, truly divine. Her meow, her match. Uh, I've only seen so many of these characters in Ding Dong Dell that I'm not. I'm referring to the Majesty as meow, just like that. Her matchless beauty takes one's breath away. You are pleased with it? Please, why? It's worth thrice what I promised to pay you for it. By the beards of the mighty, truly. Well, we shook upon it, did we not? Perhaps next. Perhaps next time. I I see. Excuse me. Oh boy, here we go. Y yes. I don't look anything like her. Hmm. You said I looked like her. Y you misunderstand, young lady. It is not a picture of you merely. Mr. Drippy. Eh? What is it, man? This is just getting interesting. Drippy. We need to go to Motorville right now. I just realized who we need to see. You did, eh? I sure did. Miss Layla is the Khalifa's soulmate. I just knew it. I just know she is. Of course she is. That's clever of you, Ollie boy. Thanks, Mr. Drippy. When I saw that picture, I knew right away. Right too. Let's get moving then, shall we? I don't feel tired at all. I don't feel tired all of a sudden. I do! My brain is dead because of you people! Me either. I do! Hey, Esther. Come on, we have to go. Huh? Oh, boy. Please tell me you... you tell me you ripped him a new one. He kind of deserved it. Huh. I look absolutely nothing like her. I said that earlier. Do I look fat? Do I look that fat to you? I'm not fat. <sighs> no, you don't. Actually. You're still kind of angry, huh? What do you mean? I'm not angry in the sli- Uh... You sure about that? Yeah, and I'm six foot flippin' six. Looks like we'd best leave her to it. I guess we should, huh? Yeah, well, with that said, I'm gonna take a nap and leave this video here. We're pretty much starting up next episode, waking up. I better not sleep in next time, otherwise I'm gonna be pretty upset with myself. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for an RPG or a game by Bandai Namco or Level 5 you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. There is one I've done prior to this. Um, never really finished it because I didn't. it didn't catch my intention entirely. But the link to that 
will be across my head here. Train will take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this one so far, click the link in the top right hand corner and it'll take you there. In the meantime, though, this train's off to its next one, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!